All right, here we go. Got the uh, Mongoose plugged in, binary editor. I was able to read my factory tune out of the computer and update the injector size. Hopefully I did it right. I also uh, got some new tail lights, put those on. So I believe what happened was my quarter horse died because it was shutting off and dying on me quite a bit over the course of a couple of days. Well, I left the truck parked for three months and I come back to drive it and it tries to stall and the computer resets like 15 times within a matter of 10 minutes. So that's unacceptable. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing this. So hopefully I did it right. Hopefully it runs. Bye now. Okay, so here it is. I've had the whole day to test it. The new tuner absolutely worked. Go ahead and back it up a little bit here. Fires right up. Oil pressure is good. Wait for those oxygen sensor heaters to come on. Uh, I'm going to be working on the theft light on the next version of the tune, so that'll be coming soon. Wait for that last heater. There it is. Okay. Back truck up a couple feet. It's running good. It's running real good. I like it. All right, let's get to that tune. All right, so uh, lighting is almost done. Over here at my dad's house. My dad, do a bit of a light check. Go and hit the parking lights. So not headlights, just parking lights. Step on the brake, put it in reverse, back and park, let off the brake, headlights, fog lights, high beams. Fog lights off, high beams off, headlights off, all the way off, perfect, yep, they all work except for one reverse light, thank you. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back at the truck and I got a couple things that I need to upgrade and uh, I'll show you what they are. So this is what I'm working on today. I bought what I thought was a Walboro, was not. So I bought an actual Walbro 255 fuel pump and I'm going to be putting it in the truck. So I got the truck dump trucked right now so I can get to the fuel pump. Uh, I removed the in-tank pressure regulator and I got a few other fuel upgrades that I'm going to be doing including fuel line which is going to go from my fuel filter, which is about there, directly to the rail. And this should give me enough fuel now to my injectors to make the power that I'm going for. So I just gotta get that fuel pump out right there, swapped over to the other one, and uh, then I can start working on my tune. <laughs> Blow job. <laughs> Dust. <laughs> Let's get that fuel pump out. 
and you can see why I need to do this fuel pump upgrade. I didn't need the ratchet on there. Nope. Just like that. special tool. And here it comes. Come on, cooperate. There it goes. All right, so here's the fuel pumps. Uh, this is the one that I just pulled out of the truck. This is the reason I'm replacing this pump right here. So it has a pressure regulator on the in-tank fuel hanger assembly, which is a problem because I have a regulator under the hood. So the two are fighting. So this one, I was able to find the right line and I took the regulator out when I upgraded to the Walboro pump. So here's the factory Ford pump. Here's the Walboro 255. Show a bit of a size comparison here if I can. Uh, it's gonna be a little hard because the hanger. But the main body of the pump is almost, uh, I'd say it's a good half inch taller. The whole pump is larger. So that should solve my fuel delivery issues to the engine and stop my surging and give me a uh, more stable fuel system to properly tune with. So let's get that in. All right, so the fuel pump, the new one is now installed. And in case you're wondering what this line is here, uh, this is my return from the rail because this tank is not a return style. And it just goes into a fitting that I have on that adapter there, which does leak a little bit. I will have to fix that at some point, but it works for temporary. Uh, under the hood here, I've got the new line sort of in place. It's just kind of sitting there. I wanted to make sure it was the right length first. And then it goes under the truck. But uh, let me go ahead and drop my phone next to the tank and you can hear this thing go. It's uh, definitely uh, a lot better. So that is a Walboro 255 in tank installed. I did have to replace the uh, strainer. I was able to find a new one. And uh, yeah, let me get this bed on and then I'll go ahead and get it started. So the fuel line upgrade is almost complete. I've removed the old fuel line, which is uh, back here now. This is the supply line that goes on the frame side. So I'm removing this entire section of the supply line. And one of the main problems that I was having is the fuel lines where they come up from the frame right here, this line was kinked. And because of that, it was losing fuel pressure. So I'm completely bypassing this entire section of line because it's damaged with this new line right here. Now I just have to make a couple brackets one to kind of keep it away from the firewall right there, and another one to keep it away from my steering shaft down in there. Um, I still need to remove the old pressure line from the frame. So I've already got this shield off right here. So that'll pop out from there. And then under the truck, here's the fuel filter. And you can see the fitting there that I've used and it comes up, I have to secure it to the bracket to keep it out of the drive shaft right here. And then you can see it going into the heat shielding there. So now I just need to remove that fuel line, the old one, and then that should give me enough room in that shield. And then I can uh, do a fuel pressure test on the truck. So here's the fuel line I've removed from the truck. And this right here is the reason why 
I was having problems. Fuel line should not do that. Or that. It was Z-kinked on the frame like this. That's why I was having erratic fuel pressure. Problem solved. Funny thing is, on the fuel filter side of things, same issue. So new fuel line will take care of this. So here I am at the computer. Now that I fixed the fuel system, I uh, took it out for a test drive and 100 miles and it did well. So now here I am comparing mass airflow tables between my tune and Gary's tune. And I think I have it now where I can probably load my tune to the truck and it should run. Uh, let's find out. Okay, so here's the setup. I have the laptop plugged into the truck. Here's my mongoose. Here we go. This is Gary's tune. Right? Starts up and runs. This is what I've been running, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, oh, I hate that thing. Well, I need to sit in the truck and turn the dome light on. I said dome light on. On. Oh, fucking thing. Okay, I'll just use the map lights. That one, that one, that one, and shut the door. Okay, I can still see, good. So now what I'm gonna do is I have the tune here so I have Gary's tune on the right, I'm going to go ahead and close that, and I have my tune here on the left. So now I can write, there are no write tokens of it, wait, what, 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 the fuck are you talking about there's no write tokens available? What the hell? I made this tune. Hell no. Updated and, oh shit. Okay, what about read? Can I read? Okay, what's it doing? Okay, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to proceed. Okay, I need to figure this out. Hold on. Okay, so I accidentally figured it out, and now it's writing. So I was able to take my factory tune. I had to go through the logs on the software to figure out which one my license actually applied to, and then copied the injector specs from uh, Gary into my original tune. And hopefully, with any luck, I will be able to start the truck and it should run with Gary's injector specs without having my flashing theft light. Because that's the main thing I'm going for. I'm trying to get my anti-theft system functional while being able to use the larger injectors. And it would also be nice to have my rear injectors turned back on and my EVAP working because they're all connected and functional. So, uh, I'll let this go, and then once it's done, I will uh, attempt to start it on video. It's also uh, to note that bank 2 is showing leaner than bank 1 without starting the truck. Tells me I have an exhaust leak where error is making it to the wideband. I'll have to note that. It's still writing, it should be finishing any second now. Okay. Computer is resetting. Turn key off. Press OK. Turn key on and press OK. Turn key off, press OK. Okay, let's see, theft light. Theft light's off, okay, let's see if it starts. Okay, it starts and runs. 
So this should be my tune now. Okay. Well, now that I'm on OBD, let me go to DTC, get DTCs. Do I have any? I don't think I have the license. Um, open. Okay, I'm connected. Get DTCs, retrieving. Okay, so monitor's not complete. Key on engine running. Yes. Oh, oh, okay, so it's running the test. Cool. I was not expecting that. Wideband is going insane right now. Whatever the test is doing. Looks like it's doing bank kills. Yeah, see, it never told me to do the brake test. Yeah, see, I didn't know that. Okay, so what DTCs did I get out of that? None, okay. All DTCs, okay, only supported on, the, okay, so that doesn't matter. Okay, functional tests, what can I do? Whoa. Firing or, what? Hold on. No. I can do a power balance test? Make sure it's in park, if the brake is set, okay. Moving the throttle may skew the results, okay, and go. Polling started, okay, is it gonna do something? Oh, receive exception, okay. So I'll have to look into that. Oh, oh, it's doing something. Oh, it's trying. Okay, so what did it read? Okay. Okay, that doesn't do much. Okay, get DTCs. Okay, so it's just a readiness test. But I think my fuel is set now. Let's see if it has a bog. No, it doesn't. Oh. It's definitely a little better. Now it still has an, a lean backfire. So I might have to do something with the mass air. I'll have to look into that, but that's good. That's really good. Okay, let's see if the restart, warm restart. It's got a warm restart. Okay. I'm getting somewhere. This is awesome, I'm learning how to tune, hell yeah.
Sweet. Now I just need to get my dashboard working again. Is my dashboard still broken? Yes. So I'm gonna have to reset all of these parameters to my dashboard so I can actually view it. Wait, what if I hit start? Nope, nothing. Nope, nothing. Wait, maybe it's doing something. Okay, let's allow access. I don't know why it's fucking with my firewall. Okay, start. Yeah, no, it's not working. Oh, wait, maybe. It's trying. And nothing. Okay, so I'll have to look into that, but at least my truck runs now on a tune that I wrote. That is awesome. Okay, cool. Well, I guess that does it for this video. Um, I was not expecting this to happen. I guess this is why we record things. So yeah, this, I wasn't expecting this at all. I mean, obviously not. I mean, I'm no hat, nothing, but I mean, I'm in the truck with laptop and it's running. I mean, what else can I say? <laughs> so um, yeah, fuel line did the trick. New tune did the trick. Now I just, I have to learn how to tune. So uh, yeah. Join me on this journey as I figure out how to do this. This is awesome. See you on the next one. Look at your, uh, I'm doing a video. You need this type of tool? Damn it! <laughs> right when I hit record. <laughs> do it again, do it again. Ready? My dad neutral dropping the damn blender. Fucking neutral dropping the blender. <laughs> Okay, so here's the setup. I have the laptop plugged into the truck. Uh, can't see it.